Welcome to this session to Keys. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to talk about AWS EC2 Instance Store. Here, we will be discussing what is EC2 Instance Store, how you can make uh, use of ephemeral drives from uh, the Instance Store. So, first thing, uh, what is Instance Store? An Instance Store provides local level storage to the EC2 instances, not to every or all type of EC2 instances, but particular type of instance which got this particular uh, add-on uh, benefit. The storage, which is basically instance store storage, is available as physical disk attached to the physical server hosting the EC2 instance. So you can consider a physical server on which your instance is supported. You are going to use the physical drives from that particular blade or that particular server because i'm sure you know the ebs that is network attached storage that is not local one so local one is instance store the instance store storage comes free with ec2 instance again uh, that is subjected to the ec2 instances which got this particular feature and have performance for six sequential reads and write without any network overhead why i have mentioned without any network overhead because uh, you are directly communicating or using those drives these are physical drives they are not over network as i mentioned ebs drives are over network only thing you have to keep in mind that uh, instance storage is temporary storage basically it is ephemeral data will be gone when you shut down your instance or uh, let's say you rebooted your instance or your instance boots on different hardware with default amazon bit they never guarantees that uh, your ec2 instance is always going to be power on on one particular physical hardware in case you got some reserved reserved instances then that may be the case but again uh, uh, there is no guarantee apart from reserved instances and have uh, added a link on the slide which can tell which particular instance type supports uh, instance store so let me quickly grab this link and open it for you where i can uh, quickly show you okay so here let me go to the table which have all the instances okay if you see here storage gb it is EBS only, EBS only, EBS, EBS. This particular M3 medium got uh, 1 into 4 SSD. 4 is uh, 4 GB, 1 mean uh, 1 SSD. M3 large got 1 SSD with 32 GB capacity. Here like it got uh, 2 into 40 GB 1. So these are the different instance types. I'm using uh, i3 large. Let me quickly jump to i3 large where I can show what storage capacity I got. I got 1 into 475 GB NVMe type SSD. That's a new technique, new technology. So with my this instance, I can get this one for free. I can use it. So that's something uh, which we are going to do. At time of writing the script, basically I've written a script uh, because with Amazon, there is no way or uh, no script from Amazon which I can use on uh, my operating system to detect which drives are ephemeral or uh, basically instance store which are EBS because what happens the ephemeral drives are named as XVD prefix and EBS drives they are also named as XVD prefix so as a engineer you may get confused which particular drive is ephemeral and uh, let's say you are writing some script where you want to use ephemeral drives you may make mistake because we are not sure which particular drive is ephemeral which is EBS. I'm not sure if Amazon uh, gives some feature or some script to customers which can help customer to identify that drive but right now there are no scripts. Again another thing uh, Amazon EC2 metadata is not always consistent. Let's say you change your instance type so their EC2 metadata is not always get updated. It may still show you the old ephemeral drives or old drive mapping, device mapping basically. Then again, that's an issue. So what I'm doing in my script, I'm checking what are the 
devices which are appearing in describe instance command because in describe instance as per my experience it only lists the EBS drives EBS storage it never lists the instance store or ephemeral drives then I am checking locally within my operating system what drives are visible because uh, in my operating system it will be displaying me EBS as well as instance store or ephemeral drives right then I am comparing what are the drives which are extra so those drives are basically ephemeral drives and that is working as of now but I am not uh, taking guarantee that uh, it is going to work in future maybe Amazon uh, introduce some doji disk type or uh, some different techniques because uh, cloud there is no guarantee that it will be consistent they, will, they are changing at very rapid speed uh, very fast speed so I have written a script here let me quickly show you script now this script will detect your ephemeral disk or uh, you can say instance store types so what I am doing I am just getting instance id by querying uh, instance metadata store and instance id instance type after that I'm checking whether I'm root or not because I'm going to run lsblk to see the drive so I just thought to become root uh, and on my instance I have imported uh, my AWS credentials so I can run uh, the described instances command within my instance first I'm checking instance disks basically these are all drives which are visible to operating system I'm running lsblk then I am checking what are the EBS drives. So EBS drives I am running command AWS EC to describe instances, this particular instance ID. Then I am querying the block device mapping and I am taking a device name EBS and volume ID basically two things. Then I am taking that output into text format then doing set. Why I am uh, doing this or using set here? Because sometimes in your attachment you can attach drive as SDC and at OS it will appear as XVDC. So let's say you got uh, prefix SD, it ultimately converted to OS1 to make it uh, familiar to your OS disk types. And I'm, I'm doing cut to this particular uh, one to four. After that, I've defined another variable which is EPH underscore disk. This is basically a femoral disk. What I'm doing, I'm echoing EBS disk and instant disk. So whatever the difference I'm getting, I'm sorting it. And uh, grabbing unique bits. The unique bits are my ephemeral drives. Then I'm just uh, simply echoing like this is host name, this is instance type, this is instance ID. If minus Z ephemeral disk, what it means now? Uh, if there is no ephemeral drive detected on instance, it will display no ephemeral detected. Else if, if minus N ephemeral disk, what it means now? Uh, if this is non zero value or it got some data, this particular variable, it will say ephemeral drives are detected. And there, I'm just echoing the formal disk, and after that, I'm exiting. After that, if you are uh, going to create uh, some volume group, some file system, or you are going to use the formal drives as raw file system, so you can simply add those functions after this one after detecting your formal drive. For security, you can add another check to verify whether that formal storage is already used in uh, some VG, some file system, or not. Simply run uh, lsplk grab for that particular drive. If you see that in under any file system, then it means it is used. But uh, as I mentioned, ephemeral data is always lost whenever you reboot your server. So that is something which I don't think risk. But again, use this particular script at your own responsibility and risk. So let me quickly demonstrate uh, how this script works on uh, i3 instance. So I'm logged on to my instance, and this is i3 instance let's verify whether i'm able to communicate with amazon or not because i have already configured my aws cli in my instance okay this command is working which is basically described region so it means uh, i'm able to communicate with amazon that's good so let me quickly see what is my instance type i know it is i3 but uh, i can show you if you see it is i3 large so basically it goes to 1 into 475 GB NVMe SSD drive so first uh, run LSPLK here if you see uh, XVDA that's uh, EBS 
NVMe that is ephemeral but uh, in case of other instance type let's say i2 type of server your ephemeral will appear as xvdb xvdc something so you may get confused which is ephemeral so let me quickly demonstrate my script which i already discussed i'm just going to show here i've named is at detect ephemeral.sh so this is the bit which we already discussed it is uh, just comparing the things so let me quickly run the script for you now i know there is only one drive so let's run this okay so it gave host name this is the host name right now this is i3 large this is the instance id ephemeral disk ephemeral disk detected they are nvme n1 this is the only drive if you see here 442 gb basically I'm getting so this is a script uh, which may be useful for you guys to detect the from the drive and uh, I found it to working on uh, i2 type instances or all instances which call the from the storage what it means no need to rely on uh, non consistent metadata of EC2 instances as I mentioned it is not always consistent so you can use this script you can customize it uh, depending upon your requirement and uh, you can use this uh, ephemeral storage or uh, known persistent storage basically because data will be gone uh, for your temporary file system requirement let's say you want to create swap uh, you want to create a file system which is for temporary files so you can use this particular storage that's the only use i can think of so thanks for watching this if you have any query any suggestion uh, just leave a comment on my youtube channel i will try to respond as soon as possible Thanks for uh, staying in touch with me, friends. Thanks a lot.